This video is going to show you how to visually add up two vectors and find the magnitude and direction using polar coordinate form. To begin with, these are my two vectors. I've got a and d, and my equation is a plus d equals r1. So a goes down four squares. In order to add them, I've got to redraw them in the right position. So I'm going to redraw a going down four squares, and I'm going to put d on the tip of a, so it's one continual path, connecting them tip to tail. So d's got to go down two blocks, and it's got to go over seven blocks so it matches the D that's up there at the top. And they're connecting tip to tail, which is our rule for addition. The resultant points from the same starting point as the combination and ends at the same ending point as the combination. So it's like a second path. And that's the resultant. So visually I have the answer. Now I need to describe it in terms of magnitude and direction. To do that, I'm going to first ignore A and D. So I'm going to fade them out so I don't pay attention to them. And I'm going to make a right triangle with R1 being the hypotenuse. And the tail of R1 is one corner of the triangle and the other corner of the right triangle is going to be at the tip of R1. So when I'm drawing the triangle, I've got to start at the tail and move over to the tip, making a right triangle. And it's okay if I go down first and then go across. It's, it means the same thing. But notice that these two vectors also connect tip to tail, and they are components of R1 because they add up to give me the answer of R1. They're just different from A and D. So here's my right triangle that I've made with R1 with the hypotenuse. Now, what I need to do I need to find the length of each side of R1. So in this case, it's easy. I'll just count the blocks, and I got 6 and 7. And now I'm ready to use some geometry and some trig to find magnitude and direction. To find the magnitude, I'm going to use Pythagorean's theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So 6 squared plus 7 squared equals C squared. That means C is equal to 9.21 units in length. So that's the magnitude of R1. Now to find the direction using the polar coordinate form, I'm going to pretend that the origin is at the tail of R1. So that's where I'm going to place the origin. Now remember that pointing due east on this coordinate direction, that's zero degrees, and everything has to rotate counterclockwise to get to its position. So R1 started pointing due east, and it rotated backwards, like a hand on a clock, but backwards, to get to its new position. So that means that's the angle I'm after. I'm going to call it phi for lack of uh, any kind of creativity. So the angle phi is what I'm after. And this angle phi is made up of two smaller angles. One angle is from the starting point, which I've drawn with this red line, and that's where the vector will start. That's at zero degrees and goes around 180 degrees. So that's the first arrow, or first angle. The second angle is theta. And theta is that little corner of the right triangle. So I'm going to find theta using the tangent function. Theta is equal to the inverse tangent of 6 over 7. That's opposite over adjacent. When I put that in my calculator in the, in the degree mode, I get 40.6 degrees. So the total angle, which I'm calling phi, is equal to 40.6 degrees plus the 180 degrees. So those two smaller angles make up the big angle, and that's going to be 220.6 degrees. So the direction is 220.6 degrees, and the magnitude is 9.21.